Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Katsu Takahashi, head of the Dentistry and Oral Surgery Department at the Medical Research Institute Katano Hospital in Osaka, Japan, and co-founder of Torigem Biopharma. Thank you for joining me today on this channel. It's been an exciting journey in the field of regenerative medicine, and I'm thrilled to share the latest updates on our groundbreaking work in tooth regeneration. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos on this revolutionary technology. Let's start with the basics. Many people around the world suffer from tooth loss, whether due to congenital conditions, accidents, or age-related issues. Today, I want to focus on congenital anodontia, also known as tooth agenesis, a hereditary condition where individuals are born without some or all of their permanent teeth. This affects about 0.1% of the population, which translates to roughly 120,000 people in Japan alone and similar proportions globally. For children and adults alike, this can lead to difficulties with eating, speaking, and even self-confidence. Traditional solutions like dentures or implants are helpful, but they don't restore natural teeth. That's where our research comes in. Back in 2007, while I was at Kyoto University, my team and I made a key discovery using model mice. We found that humans, like many animals, have the potential for a third set of teeth beyond our baby and adult sets. However, a protein called USAG1 acts as a natural inhibitor, suppressing the growth of these additional tooth buds during development. In cases of congenital anodontia, genetic mutations can halt tooth formation early on, involving interactions among about 100 to 200 genes. Our solution? A biopharmaceutical, a neutralizing antibody drug we've developed called TRG035 that inhibits USAG1. By blocking this protein, we can reactivate dormant tooth buds and stimulate the growth of new natural teeth complete with enamel, roots, and nerve endings. We've seen incredible promise in animal studies. In mice and ferrets with missing teeth, a single dose of the drug successfully regenerated functional teeth without significant side effects. These results paved the way for human trials, and I'm proud to say we launched Phase 1 in September 2024 at Kyoto University Hospital. This initial phase involved 30 healthy male volunteers aged 30 to 64, each missing at least one molar. The goal was to confirm the drug's safety and determine the optimal dosage. The trial ran through August 2025, and while full results are still being analyzed and peer-reviewed, early indications are positive with no major adverse effects reported. This is a huge milestone, proving that what worked in animals can be safely applied to humans. Building on that, we're now preparing for the next phases. Starting later in 2025, we'll move to efficacy testing in children aged 2 to 7 with congenital anodontia, focusing on those missing 6 or more teeth. If successful, we'll expand to broader applications, including adults who've lost teeth due to injury or decay. Our ultimate vision at Tora Gem Biopharma is to make this treatment available worldwide by 2030, potentially revolutionizing dentistry and reducing reliance on artificial replacements. Imagine a world where losing a tooth isn't permanent, where we can grow new ones naturally. The global response has been overwhelming. Since we first announced our work, we've received over 6,600 inquiries from around the world through our dedicated website, now available in English. People from every continent are reaching out, sharing their stories of struggle with tooth loss. It's humbling and motivating. It reminds us why we do this. If you're affected by congenital tooth agenesis or know someone who is, Visit toragem.co.jp slash en for more details and to get in touch. We're also collaborating with institutions like Kyoto University and funded by organizations such as AMED to push this forward. 
Of course, science takes time, and we must prioritize safety and efficacy. But the potential here is immense not just for congenital cases, but eventually for preventing oral frailty in the elderly and improving overall quality of life. I'm optimistic that in the coming years, tooth regeneration will become a reality for many. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to respond. Let's keep the conversation going about the future of dental health. Stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next update.